Keep the sound teaching they have learned from me, and don't worry when your accusers calumniate you. I call to unity from my cross, so never lose confidence, for it is I the resurrected one who calls everyone. It is not you, it is I the anointed king, your redeemer, who calls his scattered sheep, child of the king. Be gentle and patient with your accusers, for they know not what they are doing. By loving them as I love you, my child, and by giving yourself up as a sacrifice, you'll be pleasing to me. Through your sacrifice, I will have my house restored and many souls brought back to me. You are, you are less than the least of all my children, have been entrusted with my cross of unity. My cross of unity is heavy, but you are to bear it with love and patience. Be my echo. And proclaim to one the infinite riches of my sacred heart. You are to proclaim that unity will only be built on love and humility. Remain loyal to me, your Lord, and remember that my Father Almighty created you precisely for this purpose, to give glory to us, the Holy Almighty Trinity. So stand your ground and do not sway with the tempest. I am beside you. Do not be afraid. The truth will speak up. Yes, my loyal helper, you will receive from my almighty spirit all that I have to say. My words, my child, be like a lamp shining in the sacred lampstand. They shall be like a sword in your mouth. I shall open your mouth to speak without fear. To be my child, I myself am picking up your thought. Let today your accusers are covered with confusion, but you will escape their sword. Here, eternal Savior, with both of his hands, showed me his heart that was like on fire by the golden flame. This is your refuge. See, this is where you are. I am your strength, your strong hold. Although the scourge falls in your back consistently, do not lose heart. Remember how I voluntarily gave my back for your salvation without complaint. 